Hello, today I'm going to show how to do an arm sight for an insulin pump. I had my last sight in my stomach, um, but now I'm going to do an arm one, which I actually prefer. My pump just finished the rewinding thing, so I am going to get everything set up. I have my tubing. For arm sights, I use the 32 inch tubing instead of the 23 because it's longer, so it doesn't pull on my arm as much, so it's 32 inch tubing. It's my first piece of equipment. I also have just a normal uh, 3.0 milliliter reservoir. And then of course I have the insertion device, my favorite. It actually is I forgot it on a trip one time and had to manually insert my pump site and it was very painful and did not work very well. So I'm not very good at putting in needles quickly. And then I also have this extra thing right here, this IV3000 uh, tape that helps keep my sights in longer. I have had good success with it, but it kind of varies from person to person. And of course, I have insulin. That's definitely necessary. So I'm going to start off just like the normal sight preparation by filling up my little reservoir with insulin. So I'm going to start off by putting some air in to make the fluid displace easier. Oh, there's my cat. Everyone say hi to bat cat. Bat cat. So I pull out enough insulin so I get to about three milliliters. I have a nice bubble at the top, and so I'm going to take a pen and tap out all the bubbles. Still one at the bottom there. And now I have nice drawn out reservoir full of insulin. Boom. Look at how nice that is. So now I'm going to take my tubing, remove that. Here we go. I'm going to tangle it, of course. Nice. So you can see this tubing is longer than my normal tubing at 32. And so, full set. We're now going to connect to the pump. Just twist it in. And then we begin. filling up the tubing with insulin. So I'm just going to wait until I get drops at the end. And there we go. So now's the fun part. Connecting the set to my body. Boom. Handy dandy insertion device. Spring loaded. So I don't have to push the needle in myself. Bye that cat. He obviously got bored of this video. He only likes the tubing if he can play with it. She has bitten through it more than once, unfortunately. Remove the little adhesive covers. And you can see the needle cover right here. And it be. Remove that. So you can see the nice little needle there. Ooh, needle. So, for arm sights, it can be a little bit of a tricky thing. So I'm just going to find, you can see there's a spot right there, a um, spot that hopefully doesn't have much scar tissue on my arm. So try to stop poking myself. And let's go a little bit higher. So I like to put it on the back of my arm, but I want to make sure that it's not so far back that when I put my arm down I can feel it, because that sucks. So it's almost on like the back outside. Find a spot, and then I'm just going to press it in. Hope it doesn't hurt. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, actually. Yay. So now, the hard part is with pulling the needle out. Normally on the stomach, you can just hold it down with one hand, pull it out with the other. Um, what I like to do with these sites is um, put some, some fingers pushing down, and then you can kind of force it up. Um, so you have forces going in 
two different directions. So I can kind of put fingers down and then slowly pull straight out and I have this little needle. Look at it, it's so nice, and then you just hide the needle from the world. Put it in the sharps container. Final step is just to fill the cannula. Boom. And so now that's filling up this part with some insulin. Beckett is now back. And then, final part. It's wonderful designed for these sites. I just remove the back adhesive first, or adhesive cover I should say. I want to make sure that I don't have this connected. It does not fit like that. Let's see if I can manage to do this. So I just cover that up and then I'm going to push it down. It's a little bit easier to see in a mirror. Then I pull off these two Push that down, and then I can slowly remove this, and I kind of see I have a nice little layer of tape there. Put this back in. And then the final thing I wanted to show is something that I, one of the reasons I like the arm sizes is because they stay in better with martial arts, rugby, anything. Uh, I tend to have my sights ripped out. So what I have these handy dandy Nike armbands. I can just slip them on before I... Sometimes I even just wear them during the day because it's just an extra layer of protection for something that I don't want to fall out. And so... Look at that. It's pretty nice. And... So yeah, sometimes I have one for my... Uh, insulin pump site and one for my Dexcom site. My Dexcom's currently in my stomach, so I can't fully show you that. But they do stretch out a little bit over time. Um, normally, especially with the Dexcom ones, since they're, uh, the site itself sticks further out. So I just have multiple of these, and I just rotate through, and they last quite a while. And I actually haven't had a site fall out with this covering it. No guarantees, but that has worked well for me. So I hope... Um, that helped, especially with pulling out needles in arm sites and maybe a good arm protection. And yes, thank you for watching, and I hope that none of your sites fall off.